Hey guys, it's Ashley from Bookaholics Anonymous, and this is another book talk. So, that book is The Deceivers by Kristen Simmons. I'm trying not to make this too long, but, so, why I decided to read this book is because I love boarding school books. I don't know why, I just do. I love books dealing with spies, con artists, whatnot. I don't know why, just do. And this had both of those, so it was a big check check to read. And what it is, is it is about a girl who kind of gets plucked from her, mm, her her neighborhood to become um to be sent to a special school for con artists I guess you could call them and yeah that's basically how the story starts out is she's pulling a con on some girls and all this and when she gets on the bus, she sees, or the bus, I think it was the subway or something like that. But she sees this boy, and she keeps seeing him in different spots, and he's always around her. So, finally, she decides she's going to follow him, follow him and see what's going on. Little did she know, but that, once she did this, she would be given a spot or have the... chance to be given a spot at this secret school for con artists called Bell Hall. And then, yeah, and so, I mean, obviously she's going to get in because if she didn't, there would be no book. So, that's not a spoiler, guys. Um, so, she does get into it and she starts figuring out why she got in, um, how she got in, because, you know, they're con artists, so you gotta think, hey, so this boy that she keeps, kept seeing was one of the students there, and I think it's, I can't even remember his name, I am so horrible at this. Caleb, I knew that. <laughs> so, Bren meets Caleb. And he's been at this school the longest, and so he tries to help her get through it, and it's just, there's a lot that I can't say without kind of giving away the book, or giving away parts of the book that are, like, you're reading this book for those, for those parts. But we do know that... There's always a girl, there's always a boy, it's always going to be some kind of love interest, more than likely. But, yeah, Bren's just, she just wanted to get away from her neighborhood, from um, her mom's boyfriend, who's this um, high-up drug dealer who steals the drugs from the company he works for, and just, like... She just wants to get away from that life and try to better herself, try to pull her mom out of that life. And so, given the option to go to this school and help the um, not principal, help the director of the school who owns the school and kind of get secrets for him and pull cons for him, we'll ensure that she gets a spot and he will pay for her college and stuff like that. So he gives her a mission, I guess you could call it, to get close to a politician's son. For what reason, we don't know until later in the book. But I, like I said, I don't want to give that away. So, yeah. Throughout the book, it's kind of her mission to 
pull in the politician's son, Sterling, and see what's going on with the family, their family. But then she's got that, and she's got Caleb um, to worry about at the school, who she's starting to kind of fall for, and the people around her, or around, in the school, are telling her not to, because it could end bad for her, for what he does, I don't know, you know, it just, stuff just happens. And living in a school for con artists, I would think would kind of suck in a way, because you all are kind of you're in the school, but you're battling for the spots in the school and battling for these missions, kind of. And so you're kind of going to rip rip and pull each other down, try to get past one another, you know? It's just, I guess that's basically high school, but just a fancier version. So... And, I mean, once everything starts falling into place, um, later in the book we see why her life is like this. And we just want to see her... succeed in what she's doing. Ha! Liars always succeed. <laughs> but, um, I, I really enjoy the book. I did. Uh, I, it took me a minute to get into it because it took a minute for Bren to actually fall into the school and fall into her mission and get everything kind of going right. And so, yeah. But once it does, shit starts happening and it starts getting better. And I always wish I could say, like, stuff that happens in the ending because it would be so much easier and more worthwhile, I guess, to some people, but can't. So, like, I'm, I enjoyed the characters. I liked, I liked Caleb. I didn't like that he was so standoffish at first and kind of it was like, come to me, you know. I'm gonna treat you right and all this stuff and then oh no back it kind of gave me a Christian Grey vibe if you've read the books or you've seen the movies the first movie you kind of get what I'm saying because he's like because <laughs> Anna explains she's like come to me no go away come and that's kind of how Caleb was with Bren so it's kind of funny and but, I mean, then we find out more about Caleb and his past. We found out about each of the students that it talks about. We found out about their past, little by little, and what brought them to Vell Hall, what's keeping them there, you know, why they were picked as well. So there's there was Caleb, there's Jerry, which doesn't like Bren at all, and is trying to get her kicked out of the school. And then there's, I don't remember the names. It was, I think, Henry. Yeah, Henry. There's Henry. Henry's kind of that side character that's kind of adorable and goofy and, you know, just wants to be. And so he's Caleb's friend. But he's like the sidekick to Caleb, I guess you could say. And then... There is... Charlotte, which is kind of... She kind of becomes Bryn's friend, I think. Um, Jerry, I've already said. And there's Paz is another one. There's like five or six characters and their cons. It's 
and then there's Pete, who is Brent's, well, Brent's mother's boyfriend, who is a complete ass, by the way. And then you have a friend of Brent's, who's on the outside as well, who she kind of dated at, at one point. Like, I don't know. And then there's Sterling, who's this rich kid, politician son, who's got these secrets of his own, who's kind of keeps to himself, except for, like, he'll date someone for a little bit and get rid of them, date someone, get rid of them. You know what I'm saying. Kind of the bad boy type. I don't even know. But Brent has to get close to him, and so, watching that, yeah. But he's got his secrets, you know. He's a politician's son. They all got secrets. And so, and it's just the director trying to get those secrets from Bren and from Sterling to Bren, and then from Bren to him. Because it has to do with maybe a family member. But yeah. So, you guys have any questions, let me know. If you haven't, um, I'd say read it if you like Karn artist, Karn artist stories. If you like boarding school stories. Um, if you like kind of like that chase story, like you're ch she's chasing like these secrets, trying to get these secrets, mission stories, you know, that kind of thing. Definitely take a look. I will see you guys next time. Bye.